Here we go. Hello, everyone. Jessiana Seville here from Kidney Nutrition Institute. Uh, I'm back here again with Diana Bruin, who is the PKD nutrition expert, to talk about one of the big questions that people with PKD often ask when they're considering keto is, can I do keto if I also have liver cysts? So if you have been wondering this, this is, if this is on your radar, stay with us for the next five minutes or so while we talk through this important question. So welcome, Diana. Thanks for joining me here. Hey, everybody. Glad to be back. So Diana, when you get this question, when people ask, can I do keto if I also have liver cysts, what do you tell them? Well, to take it back a step, uh, about 80% of people who have PKD do have liver cysts. So mm -hmm. cysts do form outside of the kidneys and the liver is the number one place where they do form. Um, and generally they have no issues. Um, it doesn't really affect your liver function uh, where trouble comes along is if your liver gets a little bit too large. So a lot of people do say, well, you know, your liver is involved in fat digestion. I've got liver cysts. You know, can I do this? Will it hurt my liver? And my answer is no. Hmm, it will good. not hurt your liver. And um, in fact, what we find is that people actually that have GI issues, whether they're liver related or anything, they actually improve. Um, so folks coming in that even if they have, you know, they get full early because their liver is larger, no issues and no issues at all with the higher amounts of fat in the keto diet. So generally, what I tell people is there's nothing to worry about. In fact, there's lots of really good anti-inflammatory aspects to a plant-focused keto. So you're actually doing some good. Now, I dig in a little bit more though. And this is really important when you're trying any new diet therapy or any changes. And so some folks who have had, you know, larger livers also have gallbladder issues. Mm. So if someone has had their gallbladder removed or gallbladder issues, you know, that's where it stores that good bile juice, that good bile that helps to digest fat. You know, we take it a little bit slower because you want to see how are you doing with the increasing of your fat and how's your body responding. And so far, no one has had any problem that I have worked with, even folks who have had their gallbladders removed. But we always have to consider on the front end, um, you know, how we want to approach it for them. So, yeah, yeah I was thinking uh, one thing <laughs> that would be absolutely terrible is if you're not, so your gallbladder produces, uh, helps produce the bile so you can actually digest the fat, right? So if you're not mm -hmm. at full functioning bile capacity and you put a bunch of fat in through a ketogenic diet, you could feel awful. And for some people, it's not that they can't, and that can be the end, right? They're like, I just can't do a ketogenic diet. And like, what are my options now? But that doesn't have to be how it is. Sometimes if you ease into it is what you're saying, ease into it, test the waters, how much fat can you handle uh, that you can get to the point where you could manage a ketogenic diet like hundred percent very successfully, even absolutely with no matter, reduced, you know, reduced function, you know, and that's when, that's when I really get to dig in when I'm first, when I'm first working with people, you know, we really dig in, I call it the 20 questions session. So, you know, I'm asking people, how is your digestion? You know, I'm asking them, how are your bowel habits? You know, I get to get into all the fun stuff that dietitians talk about. And there we really flush out totally pun intended if there's any indications that there might be some GI stuff going on with liver issues or fat digestion mm -hmm. and you identifying that, which is not really that frequent, um, but you still want to look at it. And from there, individualized. So Beautiful. your approach needs to be individualized. So it's not a no, but it's a let's do this so you feel good and you succeed. So. I love that. I love it. That individualized part is really ends up laying the foundation for success. 
So one other common question along this vein is, you know, per the, re the animal research, it looks like ketogenic diets could help shrink kidney cysts. You know, that's, that's where we're aiming for with the ketogenic approaches that we're doing now. Can ketogenic approaches shrink liver cysts? Because so many people are uncomfortable with how the liver is big and pressing on their abdomen and their stomach. Do we know much about uh, what the what keto can do for liver cysts at this point? So we don't know. Um, we're not there in the research yet. However, research on the effects of ketogenic diet and the different receptors and the different pieces that are involved in the growth with the liver, which are different than the kidney, it's being studied. So what we do know is that following the ketogenic therapy had no negative effect on the kidneys. I mean, on, well, of course on the kidneys, <laughs> but also on the liver. And so what they're actually studying now is positive effects to see if there is a positive effect. And we don't know. So, and that's what's so exciting about, you know, where we are right now is all these questions are being explored in scientific ways and evidence-based ways and real life ways. So yeah, real life evidence-based trying to dig into answers instead of just being like, Oh, we don't know. Like, I love that now I feel like there is action being taken. And so, no, we don't have, it doesn't seem like we have an answer. Will keto help uh, cystic liver, but can we get to that answer? I think we're at least on a path and a trajectory with some momentum and uh, we hope to have those in the future. Answers Absolutely. Like it's, you know, being a science geek, I love being part of that. And so when it comes down to the liver, the, like what I like to ask is even with the kidneys is first, is it going to hurt you? The answer is no. Is it going to help you? The answer is stay tuned. Yeah. And you know, potentially, yes. <laughs> so yes, like, we'll, that's what we're see, going right? for. <laughs> we'll see. And if we can do it safely on my side, I'm like, there's no reason not to try. Like once you figure mm -hmm. out, get some personalized therapy, there's a lot of reasons to try. And you know, that, that can help you and it can help so, so many. <laughs> people. So hi. Uh, <laughs> I heard your talk. I love dog Riley. I love Riley. I love Riley. Awesome. Well, Diana, thanks for joining us today to answer a couple of these questions. Um, for those of you that are wanting to work with an expert like Diana, you can go to kidneynutritioninstitute.org, click on work with us and fill out an application, and our admin will uh, get you with get back to you within 24 hours to match you with the right dietitian. Uh, we do ask if you have a preference, so maybe you want to work with Diana you can tag her there as well. Um, but we love, love working with PKD and uh, plant-focused ketogenic diets. It's one of the areas that we, um, we just think is really powerful for a lot of people. So thanks everyone for joining us. Thanks, Diana, also. Uh, until tomorrow, bye-bye. Bye, everybody.